the epic final season of Castlevania is out on Netflix, bringing the story of Trevor Belmont, Cypher Belnades, and Alucard to an end as they finally deal with the horrors that began after Dracula declared war on mankind for the murder of his wife. With season 4 out, the question now becomes, what next? As much as the final season of Castlevania wraps up the story, there are some threads left open for future installments to pick up. With that in mind, we've gathered everything we know about Castlevania Season 5 so you can stop worrying and enjoy the carnage. Is Castlevania renewed for Season 5? No. The series officially ended with Season 4, though it's possible Netflix may find another way to continue this story. July 7, 201,728 October 26, 2,018,310 March 5, 2,020,410 May 13, 2021 What is the Castlevania Season 5 release date? Well, considering the show is over, for now, at least the answer is, never. Assuming there was a Season 5 in the works, the earliest to expect it might be July 2022, there was a similar 14-month gap between Seasons 3 and 4, but with production finished, it will likely be much longer before we visit the world of Castlevania on Netflix again. Is there a Castlevania Season 5 trailer? Not yet, as Netflix hasn't decided to order new episodes of Castlevania. Season 4 was revealed to be the last season this past April, confirming that the story of Trevor Belmont would conclude after bringing us back to where it all began, Targo Vista. Though Netflix hasn't outright said that Castlevania is cancelled, the company pretty much confirmed it by repeating over and over that this is the final season of the show. The story ending with a pretty conclusive and happy note seems to indicate this is the case. How does Castlevania end? The final episodes of Castlevania involve Saint Germain, Bill Nye, being fooled into aiding in bringing back Dracula, Graham McTavish, from hell itself. Turns out, the person aiding Saint Germain, or rather leading him for his own nefarious purposes, was no other than Death, who was posing as a vampire called Varney, Malcolm McDowell. Death was rather fond of Dracula led to lots of, well, death. With Dracula gone, the spectre was starving, so he planned the resurrection of the vampire lord. Of course, Death is defeated by Trevor Belmont, Richard Armitage, who manages to stab Death with a special holy dagger in the form of a cross. With a little help from a dying Saint Germain, Trevor throws Death into the infinite corridor, banishing him from this realm.